For me, traveling means to change my perspective. It's a way to get out of my routine and experience something new. It opens up possibilities, different ideas for life, different ways to view the world and new experiences. And there's nothing wrong with that. The reason to start traveling. My mom and I were nomads. Ever since I was little, she's been moving us from country to country more times than I can remember. And I've loved it. I've always loved it. You know, it was a way to meet new people and experience life in a different way. And from there, I've never wanted to stop. I never imagined traveling by motorcycle, though. It, um, I love motorbikes, I do, but to travel on them, it wasn't something that had crossed my mind. And then I married Panayoti and he was stuck on this idea that we were going to go all of these places. And he talked me into it, and from the moment I started, that was it. I couldn't get enough. The reason to keep traveling. First, it's about being on my bike. I can't get enough. I love that machine. I think it's the best gift I have ever gotten. And the reason that I keep on traveling, it's that there's this moment where you cross a border into a different country. And maybe the changes are huge, like the landscape will just shift. It'll go from flat plains to mountains, or the way that people dress. There's this, there's that moment where it clicks and you know that something is different and you can't wait to see what else you're going to discover, what else you're going to experience. And then you get a map in front of you and you see how big the world is and you see stories of other people and their journeys, and you think, I want that. I want to see what they saw. I will never travel alone. It's not that I'm afraid or I don't believe I can do it. It's that I spend the majority of my time inside my helmet going, wow. And there's this innate desire to share that immediately. And I don't want to be crossing a country and constantly thinking to myself, I wish this person was here. I wish they could see what I see. So I choose to travel with Panayoti. And I will always choose to travel with Panayoti because he's my best friend and who better at the end of the day, when we get off our bikes, to sit with excitement and enthusiasm and discuss everything we've just experienced. It's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> A moment that will be forever imprinted in my memory. So it was our first big trip together, Panayoti and I. It was technically our honeymoon and we decided in winter in the snow to go as far as we could in Greece. And it was towards the last couple days of our trip after a particularly long day where we managed to find this hotel. And as we start settling in for the night, he goes to set a fire. And as I look over at him, this ball of fire comes rushing out of the fireplace and crawls up his whole body. The panic, not panic, but the fear that hit me in that moment. I had no idea how badly he was hurt. For a second, I was sure that he'd be blinded by it. I mean, it, it did literally crawl up his whole face and I was split between two thoughts of one, what can I do for him? How can I help him in this moment? And two, how was I going to get him home if he was really injured? <sighs> I've never been so scared for somebody. It was, it was horrifying. 
and at the same time we can look back at it and laugh now and it brought us closer together in a very weird way but I will never forget it. I've noticed that I appreciate things more. You know, all, all the things that I would take for granted before, my daily routine, my home, my dog, every, everything. Things that you get tired of in your daily life or seem mundane. When you're on the road, you learn to miss them and appreciate what's waiting for you when you return. And not only that, you know, I've also noticed to live more in the moment because everything changes second to second. And if you let those moments pass you by, you may never get them back again. You know, there's so much to see. So appreciate it while you have it. The one thing we find in every trip are dragonflies. And while it may not mean anything to somebody else, they make me feel like a kid again. When I was little, my dad used to catch them for me and give them to me as gifts. They were still alive, he didn't do anything to them. But they'd come in all of these colors and they were these magical little creatures. And now, every time I see one, I remember him. And it's this great feeling. I can't imagine my life without travel. There's no circumstance under which I would even contemplate giving it up. It's brought me so much joy. So why should I? I mean, really, why should I give up something that makes me so happy? If I'm lucky, in 15 years I'll be doing exactly what I'm doing now. Planning trips and exploring new places. I like the concept of life trips, this application where you plug in your journey and you get to see other people who are also on the road at the same time. You have this option to either cross paths and see what they're up to or gain inspiration from their trip. I mean, it's fantastic. <laughs>